This is the Tool Review Channel, and today we have another Klein versus Knipex. Now, if you didn't la watch the last one that I posted, uh, basically I kind of compare both tools and I put them through some tests, and then at the end of the video, I'll tell you my thoughts on which pair of uh, player I would rather have over the other. Um, so this one is obviously we're going to be taking a look at the Lyman players that both have to offer. Um, now Klein is typically known for their Lyman players. They're known as kind of the creator of the Lyman player. I am the top dog with the Lyman players, but Knipex has released um, quite a few pairs of their own version of the Lyman player. Um, and as we can see here, these are both the exact um, same specification of tool. They both have the comfort grip handles. They both have a crimper and they both have a fish tape puller. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and jump on into the video here. So first, take a look at the Kinebex, um, which is pretty pretty much standard. They're almost always going to have the um, red and blue uh, comfort grip handles, whereas the Kleins are going to have the journeyman style handles. And the majority of their uh, journeyman style handle of tool is... Um, going to have these comfort grips on them and the most of the the heavy duty tools all have the same color so it's the blue and black whereas Kinepex depending do, doesn't matter on what kind of comfort grip version of the tool you're going to get they're always going to have the standard red and blue um, style of handle now the one thing about the Kinepex is you don't have to break them in. They pretty much come broken in as we can see right there. They're super loose. Uh, there's no break-in process. That is how they come out of the packaging. Whereas Klein, on the other hand, um, it, it depends on the tools. Some of their tools um, and some of their lineman pliers come broken in already. They're super loose, but the majority of them, you can see right there, they're not super loose. And they do require you to what we call the break-in uh, process, which, you know, you're going to have to use the tool quite a bit before it'll loosen up. Uh, now, you can oil the joint um, and, you know, work it loose with that. Um, but most people don't have the patience and or time to do that. Um, so that is something you can do to break them loose. Um, unlike the Kinepex, where they just have the name on the front, uh, Klein has their, their name, the year, their logo, made in the USA, and they also have some mornings right there. Whereas Kinepex just has the little, their Kinepex name right there. Um, but Kinepex does have the information uh, about the what model number it is on the handle and the hardness of wire that you can go ahead and cut through with the cutting jaws on here. Uh, now, both tools do have this little uh, milled part right here, uh, and that is for pulling staples and screws. Uh, it just allows you to get a little bit of prying action. Um, obviously, the Kleins have them on the front, and the Kinebex, I would guess. I'd consider this the front, and i consider this the back. Uh, so it is kind of on the front uh, as well uh, right there. And you can see you have your cutting jaws right there, and then you have your fairly large cutting jaws right there. Now, the I believe both these tools are able to cut through, you know, wire, hard nails, screws, and stuff like that. Um, so, and I know the clients can cut through ACSR. I'm not sure if the Kinebex are ready to cut through ACSR or not, um, but they, the clients definitely can cut through that as well. Um, but these, like I said, they're pretty much the most, most identical tools. Uh, so they both have the crimper feature uh, right there, and they both have the fish tape puller right there as well. So enough about the detail on the tool. Now we're going to go ahead and get to some cutting ability of the tool. So we'll first bring in our first wire, which is our 18-gauge wire, and we'll go ahead and cut through that uh, with each pair of pliers. Uh, and the Kinebex have no problem whatsoever getting that guy cut. And we'll bring in the Kleins uh, right here as well and just like the just like the Kinepex both are able to get through that 18 gauge wire so while I'm holding these uh, clients we're going to go ahead and bring in some 18 gauge stranded wire and we are able to cut through that without any issue so we'll go ahead and put those down now I do find that wire does kind of get trapped in the back um, of the clients uh, not so much on the Kinepex um, that's just one thing I have noticed so we'll go ahead and bring in the Knipex here and we'll go ahead and cut through that um, and it does it without any issue. So I'll bring in our 16 gauge stranded wire and we are able to cut through that. Now you'll notice when you're cutting through wire you kind of hear that snapping action uh, with the Knipex whereas if we do it with the Klein we shouldn't really hear that snapping action as much. Um, we'll go ahead and you've seen we're cutting through that and you don't really hear that snapping action. That is because 
Klein has designed their handles to absorb that snap. Um, so you don't feel it and you don't hear it as much as you would with their competitor pair of pliers. So that was some 16 gauge stranded. We're going to go ahead and bring in some 14 gauge solid. Uh, and we'll go ahead and chop through that without any issue with the Kinepex or with the Kleins. And now we're going to bring in the Kinepex and we'll go ahead and chop through that as well. And as, you, as the larger, as the wire size gets larger, you're going to start hearing that snapping sound get a little bit louder and louder with the um, Kinepex. So we'll go ahead and put that 14 gauge solid off to the side and bring in our 14 gauge stranded. And we are able to slice through that. Um, we'll bring in our clients and hopefully have the same amount and we are indeed able to slice through that as well. So I'll set that off to the side and we will bring in our 14 or excuse me, our 12 solid uh, and go ahead and chop that up and we are able to just bite away at it without any issue. Uh, and we'll bring in our Knipex uh, as well and we're able to chop it up without any problem. So now we'll bring in our 12 gauge stranded wire right here. And we'll go ahead and chop that up with the Kinepex. And we'll go ahead and set those off to the side and bring in our Klein. And we should be able to chop through uh, that uh, without any issue. Just have the wire getting stuck in there. That's, that's pretty typical. So we'll set that off to the side and bring in our 10 gauge stranded wire. Uh, you can definitely hear a little bit snapping sound when you cut through that 10 gauge stranded wire, but you definitely, you do feel it in your hands, but you don't feel it as much. Uh, whereas compared to the um, Kinepex, you have a little bit larger of a snapping sound and you can definitely feel that vibration go into the handles. Um, so we'll set that off to the side and bring in our 10 gauge stranded wire uh, right here. And we'll go ahead and chop him up. Um, we are able to cut through that without any problems. And now we'll bring in our 10 gauge stranded for the, um, the clients here. And you, you don't really hear anything when you cut through that. You kind of hear a little bit, um, but you definitely don't hear as much snapping as you do here with the uh, Kinepex. So while we have these uh, in my hand, we're going to go ahead and bring in some we're going to bring in some thermostat wire and see if both of them can get through this now i'm not concerned if it can get through all 5 to 18 gauge wires that's in here i'm more concerned to see if the jaws on here are sharp enough to get through the insulation um, without having to pull the insulation out of the wire completely um, and the clients are able to do that without any issue so hopefully the knipex are able to do the same and it did pull a little bit of the insulation out right there uh, so we'll go ahead and cut through that and it does appear that it isn't quite able to cut through all of that insulation, but it is cutting through the majority of it. Uh, so the cutting knives aren't exactly the strongest when it comes compared to the Kleins, whereas the Kleins will, are just able to, if I put the pliers the right way, are able to, oh, not quite able to cut through it all right there. Um, but we are able to cut through it. So that's that's one. That's the reason why I like to bring in that uh, thermostat wire is to see if you can or can't cut through uh, that, you know, the insulation that runs through there. So while we have these in my hand, I'll bring in some some thicker wire, which we got some eight gauge stranded wire right here. Um, we will have to open up those players uh, and we are able to chop that up uh, and you don't really hear any snapping action. Um, but we'll bring in these uh, Knipex and you can definitely hear that snapping action and you can definitely feel it in your hands as well. So we'll put that off to the side and bring in our last thick gauge wire, which is some six stranded wire. And we'll go ahead and chop through that and you can definitely start to feel it uh, in the hands uh, when you're going to cut through that. And we'll now see how well the clients can do that with the sound as well. Um, so you definitely don't hear that snapping action as much as you do with the Kinepex. Um, they're both able to get through that without any issue. So now I'll bring in our 14-2 with ground and we'll go ahead and chop that up. And we are able to get through that without any without any issue with the clients. Now I'll bring in our Kinepex and we'll chop away at that. And again, you hear that large snapping sound. Uh, so now we're going to bring in our 12 2 uh, with ground and we'll go ahead and chop through that. Definitely a little bit harder, harder to do with one hand, but you are able to do it. Uh, you definitely do feel that when you cut through it um, versus when you do it with the clients, you don't, you're not going to feel it as much. Definitely some snapping sound when you cut through it, but definitely not as loud uh, as the Knipex. Um, so that's really about it uh, for the wire to cut through. And I don't think I have any other wire uh, to test and or cut through. Uh, but I do have some screws to cut through. So like most of the 
uh, Klein heavy duty series, whether it's the J2000 or the D2000, um, they are able to cut through AC, like I said, ACSR, hardened nails and screws, uh, and things of that nature. The cutting jaws are induction hardened. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cut through a screw uh, with these. So we're just going to first start off with a 632 screw. Uh, we'll go ahead and cut through that. So we're able to do it one-handed uh, with the with the clients. So we're going to go ahead and do it with the Kinepex as well. So you, both of them are able to do it one-handed. Uh, it's pretty much just the same to cut through that. Um, but we'll throw that off to the side. And we'll bring in our 832 screw here. And we'll go ahead and chop through this guy. See if we can do it one-handed. So we are able to do it one-handed with the clients. Now we got the, uh, excuse me, with the Knipex. Now we have the clients uh, right here. And it's a little bit harder to do uh, with the clients, but they're able to slice through it uh, without any issue. So both of them can cut through um, some screws without any problems. Uh, so now I do have one final test uh, for both, and that is going to be cutting through some NYM or NYMJ cable. Uh, this is a European cable that I had I bought for a video. Uh, it's a little bit challenging to cut through. I bought it for a specialty pair of pliers. Um, so we're going to see if both can and or can't cut through this. Um, so we'll first test out the clines. Um, and we got kind of lined up with the cutting edge, uh, but we are able to get through that um, right there. So go ahead and open up those pliers a lot and we'll go ahead and cut through it. So we're able to get through that cable without any issue. So now we'll bring in the Kinebex and see if we can do the replicate the same. Uh, so we'll go ahead and definitely have a little bit louder of a snapping sound right there. Um, but we are able to get through that cable as well. So that's about it for all of the cable I have to cut through. So now it comes down to which one would I rather have. Um, and I kind of have to say, I would rather have, if I had to choose between the two, I would choose the Knipex, I think, over the Klein uh, for this one. Uh, and that's because, you know, you don't really have to break them in. Uh, pretty much every pair of Klein uh, Lyman pliers that I've got is they've always come broken in and loose. Uh, whereas the Kleins, um, it, it just depends on, on the tool or it depends on how the tool is manufactured. Whereas some, they're, you know, they open up and you don't have an issue with them where others, they're super, they're super tight to open. Uh, now, both of these, you're not really going to find in a traditional store. Um, City Electric, uh, which is, you know, an electrical supply company is where I picked these up from. Uh, and they currently don't have any of them in stock. I was in there the other day and they didn't really, at least my local one didn't have any in stock. Um, and most retailers aren't going to be carrying your Kinepex uh, pliers in stock uh, with the comfort grip handles. Uh, you can find the standard dipped handles of these. Uh, you can find both the standard versions of these tools in uh, like stores like Home Depot and Menards. Um, where it's just a standard dip pair, or you can just get the standard J2000 pair. It's not going to have a crimper or a fish tape puller on it. So you can find those in the store, but nine times out of ten, you're most likely going to have to order these online. And they're relatively about the same price. You're going to be paying $45, $50 for them uh, to have the fish tape puller, or crimper, and then, you know, your standard pair of Lyman's. Um, but I think I, I would rather choose the um, the, the Knipex over the clients for this one. I just feel like it's a, a little bit better of a pair of pliers. Now, I do like the handle design on the clients where you don't have to feel that snapping action when you're cutting through some stuff. Um, but I just think the fit and finish on the Knipex is a lot better than the clients. Uh, whereas the clients, it's always going to be a little bit different, um, just depending on where and how the tool is manufactured. Um, and I just really like how there's no break-in process. The tool is basically ready to go right out of the box or right out of the packaging. Uh, but that's just my thoughts uh, in my opinion. Um, your thoughts and opinion can be different. You may prefer to have a Klein over the Knipex or vice versa. Um, so that's just kind of my thoughts and decided to, I wanted to share those with you guys. Uh, so that's going to do it for this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.